Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to digitalage.com. And guys, a few days back, I show you a tutorial on how to set up this particular drag and drop interface using PHP and jQuery. Then guys, one of the biggest mistakes I did was I never provided a SQL file to set up the database for it. So it was my mistake, I learned from it, and I would be re-uploading the files with the uh, SQL file. But I received a comment on YouTube from a guy if I can show how to set up the database for it. So that's the reason I'm here and I have this particular demo open out here. If you want, I can show you the demo once again. I can say, put this one here on number four and we'll say changes are safe. Let me refresh it and you will notice the download items are still on the same position that we dragged it to. So guys, the very easy way to set up the database for this uh, particular interface would be to download the files once again and grab this particular SQL file. So I'm going to open it and copy everything from here. Go to your PHP my admin, create a new database that I actually created with uh, you know drag you can create it with some other name as well then you need to change that particular database name to this connection.php file and then you can do is open this particular sql tab paste everything here and hit go once you will hit go it will take some time and if you will re refresh it you will notice a new table has been created with all the values inside it out here the one says site analytics user comments recent posts recent members google news and download items and guys i have it running on my local server as well to refresh it and you will notice everything's here now let me discuss about the database how ac actually it's working guys these are the default auto increment ids which are generated automatically so you don't have to worry about them but if you will notice out here i'm actually showing their id so here it says download items number six you will notice download item have an id of six and the list numbers are the actual position that they are on right now the download items have a position to number one if i will come back to my local uh, drag and drop interface you will notice it's here on number one if i will drag it and if i will put it out here you will see changes are saved refresh this once again and you will notice download items are on number four and if you want to know how to build this particular table from scratch like not running any copy and paste sql statements what you can do is create a uh, database with drag or with other name if you want and you will get this particular option out here on the bottom which is create table okay so hit on that particular create table and you can create a table from here Oh, let me give you you know a better example for that let's go back come here and out here on the bottom is an option so let me say drag drop two on uh, the number of fields we required are three the very first one is the ID the second one is the name and the very last one is the list numbers okay so let's go ahead and say go so now I have one more uh, I would say table so here I'm gonna say an ID a text and list numbers okay so the ID would be you know an integer the text would be varchar and the list numbers would be integer again okay for the varchar I can say hundred and it would you know it will have a primary key and auto increment like every time we're gonna insert a new value this, to this particular table we will you know auto increment these IDs go ahead and here hit go and guys so once you're gonna hit go cut this particular thing down refresh it from here uh, why tables not there okay let me do it one more time because this particular interface the new one actually sucks so let me see an ID a text some list numbers integer or varchar and this one would be a primary key an auto increment give it 200 and hit go for one more time let's see what will happen it came and went oh it's not doing anything actually this particular new interface sucks 
just wait for a couple of seconds I will I believe it's a bit slow okay guys I'm really really sorry because this particular go button is actually to you know add a field I'm really really sorry about it we need to hit save that's my bad so now we have you know the exact table uh, similar to the one that we have out here on the top so here it says ID text list numbers and here it says ID text list numbers but because but we don't have any data inside it so I can say insert uh, let's say only at two widgets say a recent comments okay and let's say this one to be number one and here I can say posts and here say number two insert it and what we can do is go back to our update.php probably here I can say drag up drag and drop two like we would be dealing with on uh, you know database uh, table name drag drop two and here drag drop two as well come back refresh it and here it says it you know boolean given let me check out what's the problem on 49 drag drop two added by list number ascending that's our table name right let me copy it okay guys there's a problem I said list numbers and here it says list numbers so uh, we can go to you know actually uh, no we can go inside structure and here from here I can edit it and here I can say list number instead of numbers you will notice we have two uh, columns out here so I can drag this one I can put this one here it just changes saved refresh you will notice it's still here so guys I believe if you are not sure how to create databases then you might have learned a lot of things from my stupid mistakes today so I will see you guys next time goodbye